Welcome to Math Mountains, part two. In part one, we already learned what Math Mountains are and how to add with Math Mountains to get a total. This time, we're gonna be learning how to add to find other mystery numbers. This means we can use the same technique we've already learned, but instead of solving for the total answer, we can find one of the add-ins here or here. But first, let's review what we've already learned. Let's start with an equation. Two plus four equals what? The answer or the total in this equation is our mystery number. So to create our math mountain, we're gonna start by placing the first number that's an addend, two, on the left. And we're going to place the other addend, which is four, on the right. Those are the two numbers we'll be adding together and our mystery number will go on top. Let's add by adding circles and counting. On the left, we have the number two, so we're gonna add one, two circles. On the right, we have the number four, so we're gonna be adding one, two, three, four circles. If we count all the circles, we have six circles. So our total, or our mystery number, is the number six. Let's go ahead and do the same equation, but this time our mystery number is one of our add-ins. This equation reads two plus what equals six. We're going to go ahead and start by creating a math mountain. To put this equation into our math mountain, we're going to start with our two plus, and then we're gonna put a box for our mystery number. And our total at the top is going to be the number six. To solve this equation, we start with what we know. We know we're gonna start with two. So on the left side of our mountain, we're gonna add two circles. One, two. What else do we know? We know that in the end, we're gonna have a total of six dots. So we're gonna add dots until we get to the number six, and those are gonna go on the right side of our math mountain. So let's add circles, counting on from the number two until we get to six. So we already have two, and we're gonna add three, four, five, six. Now we have a total of six circles. Let's find out how many circles are on the right side of our math mountain. And that will give us our mystery number. So let's count. One, two, three, four. There are four circles on the right side of our math mountain. So that must mean our mystery number is the number four. Great job. We just solved that equation. Let's do another one. This is a new equation and it's missing its first addend. So we're gonna start with a math mountain. And on the left side of our mountain, we're going to put a square for our mystery number. Then we're gonna put our plus sign, and then we will put the number five. Mystery number plus five, and our equation told us that the total is eight. So our eight goes at the top of our math mountain. Once again, we're gonna start with what we know. We know that the right side of our mountain is five. So we're gonna add five circles. One, two, three, four, five. We don't know what's on the left side of our math mountain, but we do know our total is the number eight. So we're gonna count on from five adding more circles to the left side until we get to the number eight. So we already have five, let's count on. Six, seven, eight. Now we have eight circles. How many circles are on the left side? Let's count so we can find our mystery number. Ready? One, two, three. There are three circles 
on the left side of our math mountain. This means our mystery number must be the number three. Wow, great job. Now you've solved two equations with a mystery number as an add-in. As you can see, you can use a math mountain to find any number in an addition equation. Move on to part three to see how you can use the same math mountain to solve subtraction equations. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in part three.